this video, we'll be talking about 10 countries in Africa that have changed their names. Many countries changed their names at independence, most often from ones imposed by the colonizers, while others were rebaptized on emerging from disintegrating federations. An example of that is USSR. Number 1. British rule in the Kingdom of Swaziland was peaceful and by 1963 limited self-government was allowed. On September 6, 1968, Swaziland was granted complete independence. It was still a member of the Commonwealth of Nations and the King, Sobuza II, who had come into power in 1921, became the head of state. King Mitswandi III announced in April 2018 that the tiny country would revert to its original name, Nitswani, which means land of the Swazi. Africa's last absolute monarch caught his nation by surprise, although the change had been muted and there was some unhappiness with the previous one, a mix of Swazi and English. Number 2, formerly known as Southwest Africa, became Namibia in 1990 when it was granted independence from South Africa, which had taken over the territory during the First World War. The capital of Namibia is Bintuk, which means the Windy Corner. Namibia gained independence from South Africa on March 21, 1990, following the Namibian War of Independence. Namibia was a, has a population of 2.6 million people, following the Mongolia, which is the least densely populated country in the world. Number 3. Zimbabwe. Present-day Zimbabwe was known as Southern Rhodesia between 1898 and 1964, named after the British colonist and businessman Cecil Rhodes. As early as 1960, however, African nationalists began to refer to the country as Zimbabwe. It is widely believed the name Zimbabwe is a compression of words Zimba and Zimbabwe, meaning House of Stones, in Shona language which is widely spoken in the present-day Zimbabwe. The European settler community continued to use the name Rhodesia, however, in due course, both native Africans and Europeans settled for the name Zimbabwe Rhodesia. When the, the country finally attained its independence from the British in 1980, it dropped the name Rhodesia to remove all vestiges of the British colonialism. Number 4. Tanzania. Tanganyika was the name of a sovereign state located between the Great African Lakes and the Indian Ocean that existed from 1961 when it gained independence from the British Commonwealth. Between 1962 and 1964, the nation referred to itself as the Republic of Tanganyika. Old Zanzibar, on the other hand, consists of a group of small islands collectively known as Zanzibar Archipelago in the Indian Ocean. Ancient Zanzibar had been ruled by the Sultanate before becoming Western colonial powers. On 26th of April 1964, Zanzibar united with the Republic of Tanganyika to form the People's Republic of Tanganyika and Zanzibar. In 1965, the Republic combined the two countries' names into one new name, Tanzania. Number 5. The Gambia officially, the Republic of Gambia, whose capital is Banjul, is a country in West Africa. It is the smallest country within mainland Africa and is surrounded by Senegal except for its western coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Following the proclamation of Republic in 1970, the long-form name of the country became Republic of the Gambia. The administration of Yang Yaming changed the long-form name to Islamic Republic of Gambia in December 2015. On January 29, 2017, President Adama Barrow changed the name back to Republic of the Gambia. Number 6. DRC At independence from Belgium in 1960, the Central African country became the Republic of Congo. Confusingly taking the same name as its neighbour, the two are differentiated by the reference of the capitals, Brazzaville and Kishasa. A few years later, the name was tweaked and the country became the Democratic Republic of Congo. But in 1971, there was a change to Zaire, imposed by the General Joseph Desire Mobutu, who took power in 1965 coup. He adopted the policy of replacing European-style names with African ones. He 
He became a Butu Sese Seku and Seta dictatorship that lasted until Laurent Desire Kabila captured the capital in 1997 and reinstated the name Democratic Republic of the Congo, also known as the DRC. Number 7. Benin Dahomey was the name of a powerful pre-colonial West African kingdom in what is now the Benin Republic. At its peak, Dahomey kingdom spanned present-day Benin, Togo and some parts of southern West Nigeria. Dahomey was famous for its female warriors who were skilled in battle and often served as their royal bodyguards. In 1975, under the leadership of Matteo Kiriko, Dahomey changed his name to Benin Republic. This happened 15 years after the nation gained independence from the French colonists in 1960. The change was liked to the Marxist-Leninist ideals in which the new leader believed in. Number 8. Burkina Faso Keeping the name Upper Volta for years of independence from France in 1958, the landlocked West African nation was rebaptized Burkina Faso, or the Land of Upright Men, in 1984. The name introduced by popular coup leader Thomas Sankara, who took power a year earlier, combines the two nations' official languages. The previous title referred to its location along the Volta River. Number 9. Botswana Before its independence in 1966, Botswana was a British protectorate known as Bichwana Land. It was also one of the poorest and least developed states in the world. Bichwana Land attained self-government in 1965 becoming independent Republic of Botswana on September 30, 1966 and maintaining a position of stability and harmony ever since. The economy is dominated by mining, cattle and tourism. Botswana has a GDP per capita of about 18,825 as per year of 2015, making it one of the highest in Africa. Number 10. Malawi in 1953, became a protectorate within the semi-independent federation of Rhodesia and Nwaisa land. The federation was dissolved in 1963. In 1964, the protectorate was ended. Nyasa land became an independent country under Queen Elizabeth II and was renamed Malawi 